In this video, I'll be teaching you about all of the hardware you need to set up a Bitcoin miner. So what you're going to need is a Raspberry Pi 2B, a micro SD card, and an Antminer U3. The Antminer is going to be the heavy lifter. It's going to be the one actually mining the blocks. To make it work, what you're going to need is a power brick to transform the energy from your socket into something that the Antminer can use. This should come in the box with the Antminer U3. If not, you might have to purchase it separately. You're also going to need one of these three prong power cables. These are to transfer energy from your socket into the power brick. For me, these did not come in the box with the ant miner. They had to be purchased separately. And finally, you're gonna need this. This cable is meant to allow your Raspberry Pi to connect to your ant miner. This cable should also come inside the box. The Raspberry Pi is the brains. It will be telling the ant miner what to do and how to do it. To make this work, what you're gonna need is an ethernet cable. This is used to give the Raspberry Pi internet access so it can access your pool's website which will be explained in a later video. These will not come in the box with the Raspberry Pi, but you can pretty much buy these at any store that sells computers or electronics. You are also gonna need a power source for the Raspberry Pi. Unless you buy a special kit including the Raspberry Pi, you'll probably not get this in the box. That shouldn't be too much of a problem though, because it's a micro USB, which is the same as your Android or Blackberry phone. The micro SD is the memory. This is where you're gonna store your operating system on. Make sure it is class 10 and can hold at least 8 gigabytes of storage. Unless you happen to have a port for your micro SD on your computer, it's a good idea to get an adapter. Now usually these come with the micro SD, but sometimes you might have to buy them externally. The first thing we're going to do is get your 3 prong energy cable and plug it into your socket. Then you're going to grab your power brick and plug the other end of your 3 prong power cable into it. Once you do that, you're going to find the circular port on your ant miner and connect it to the power source. If you did everything right, the fan on top of your ant miner should turn on. Next, we are going to get out our micro USB cable and plug it into the wall. We're going to plug the micro USB into the corresponding port on the Raspberry Pi. If you did everything right, there should be two LEDs that turn on on the Raspberry Pi. The final step is connecting the ant miner to the Raspberry Pi. So you're going to get out the cable that we talked about earlier and plug the USB side into the Raspberry Pi. Then you're going to plug the opposite side into the ant miner. So that was my quick tutorial on all the hardware you need to set up a Bitcoin miner. Thank you for watching.